Hello everyone. In this video, we will see how to create a workflow event in Metadata Command Center service. In the previous video, which is creating customized workflows, we have demonstrated how to create the workflow process in cloud application integration service. In this video, we will use that same workflow process and configure a workflow event in the MCC service. The agenda for this video is to look at the prerequisites required to configure a workflow event and then we will look at how we can configure a workflow event in Metadata Command Center service. Prerequisites. We need to provide permissions under application integration and Metadata Command Center services in the administrator. The following are the required permissions. Let's now look at a demo. This is the workflow process we have created in creating customized workflows video. Now we will map this workflow process to a workflow event in Metadata Command Center service. In MCC, go to Configure, Workflows, create a new workflow event. Using these workflow e event objects, we can define which workflow should be triggered at which event events uh, we have or like uh, when an asset is created or when changes are made to an asset uh, let's configure this even uh, workflow event object i'm going to name this as test underscore demo event type uh, approve request for create i'm gonna choose a policy asset so i'm basically just saying uh, trigger this workflow when a policy object is created i'm going to click on next uh, which is workflow tab where we will map the workflow that we have created in cloud application integration service so click on browse uh, the workflow process we have created is named process2. I'm gonna map it, select, select. Yes, now uh, the mapping is done. We are now, uh, we have now integrate, completely integrated the workflow process that we have created in application integration service into metadata command center service. So uh, we now have two uh, sub tabs here in this section, which are tasks and input fields. Tasks are basically the human tasks that we have configured in the workflow process. In this case, approver and data steward. So yeah, we have approver and data steward here. Uh, for each task, we need to provide due in days. Uh, and also we need to map the task outcomes uh, to lifecycle states available in metadata command center service and CDGC. So yeah, let's now map them. So I'm gonna give two days, during two days. Uh, we will map the task outcome approved to publish, uh, task outcome changes to in review, and task outcome, task outcome reject to uh, discard draft. And for data steward task, we will give during uh, as two days. Uh, for task outcome approval, we will uh, map it to in review lifecycle status and for reject we will map it to draft lifecycle status next we have uh, input fields so uh, under input field tab we have the fields which we created in the start step of the workflow process we created those uh, fields to map the user roles for each human task so under the start step of the workflow process we have created these uh, four input fields asset name is for uh, is to map the asset name for which uh, the workflow is triggered uh, all stakeholders which can be uh, you know used to specify uh, which user roles will have read access to the particular ticket to to the ticket and also to the workflow 
next we have approval role this is to map which user role will work when uh, workflow is set you know approve a uh, human task step and uh, finally we have data owner underscore role uh, this is to map which user role will work when the workflow step is set data steward human task step now we will map uh, these input fields to their values asset name will be the asset name for all stakeholders i'm going to choose all stakeholders uh, because you know uh, you can choose other uh, roles so basically what this means is when uh, a event or workflow is triggered on the on this policy object when it is created all of its stakeholders can go into the ticket and see the status of the ticket so i'm going to choose all stakeholders for the approver role i'm going to choose governance administrator and for data owner role uh, in this case i'm going to choose governance administrator again and i'll click on save now this uh, workflow event is saved uh, we are good to trigger uh, a workflow in cdgc let's uh, now see the workflow process in action for this demo i have already created a policy asset and added myself as a stakeholder this asset is currently in draft lifecycle state and only stakeholders and users with permissions view unpublished content can only see this asset for this asset to be visible to all the users we need to first publish this asset to publish click on send for approval we will be presented with a wizard from which we can fill out uh, the details of the ticket and then uh, click submit this uh, will trigger a ticket we will go to the tickets tab and we can see that uh, a ticket has been generated we will click on this ticket and we can see uh, here the asset details uh, the status of the ticket which workflow has been uh, tagged and is being followed uh, the changes made to, to the asset um the stakeholders the current tasks and uh, the changes that have been made to the asset so i'm going to start this workflow process start the ticket and uh, as you can see upon starting uh, we are going to the approver human task uh, just as how we have configured in the workflow process so i have uh, the the stakeholder uh, working at approver process step will have three outcomes approve changes and reject when uh, when everything is okay at the uh, policy asset i'm going to uh, this stakeholder will go go ahead and click on approve which will move the uh asset life cycle status to publish and all users can see uh, the policy asset and if there are any changes that needs to be made i'll click on uh, changes outcome here which will then uh, uh move this to a uh, data steward human task a uh, step and users or user roles or stakeholders uh, who are assigned for that human task step will then act accordingly so uh, in this case i'm going to just click on approve which will uh, then set the life cycle status of this policy asset to published and all the users can now see uh, this policy asset we are now done with this demo you can refer to the following kb articles or documentation
we would love to hear back from you thank you